Come gather round people wherever you roam and admit that the water around you has grown and accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. If well, to you, this is a story say, about me, Kevin McDermott, start swimming and how I got like here today. And I'm 82 years old now. I came to Taos when I was 10 years old for the first time. And mom and dad were out here on vacation and brought my brother and I with her. And then uh, uh, we would go to town at night and Indians dancing on the plaza. And that was exciting. So as I got to be a young adult, I came out here and spent the week camping out right outside of town. And decided that's it, I'm coming back to Taos. I went to school in Texas Tech in Lubbock and got a degree in civil engineering. So when I got out, I started building a hospital in Dallas, Presbyterian Hospital. As an engineer, a lady a whole thing out. A friend of mine rolled a joint <laughs> or he smoked it. That was my engineering life in the past. I came here to visit my friend and ended up living for two years here with that commune out in Talpa. So then I became an artist. I started paintings of American Indian pottery, historic pottery, Pueblo pottery, from Arizona, Hopi, over here to New Mexico, Zuni, Zia, Acoma. I traveled in this bus from Austin, Texas, Tucson, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, over to Santa Barbara, California, down to LA, selling my artwork. And my artwork, I'd go to fairs or I'd go to a town and go out to the swap meet, sell my artwork there. I would sell in galleries also, and people started calling me Cabino. <laughs> I was studying Spanish, yo hablo poquito espanol, and so this is Casa de Cabino. Once upon a time, you dressed so fine, through the bumps of time in your prime, didn't you? People call, say if they were a dial, you're bound to fall. You thought they were all kidding you you we used to laugh about everybody that was going out i do still smoke marijuana because it does something and i can go to sleep easier and i can sing songs and i sound better and it is legal here in new mexico now it should be all over. This is my kitchen. <laughs> and I, I uh, get up every morning and turn on the stove, make my coffee. I eat a couple of eggs and sausage and, and uh, oatmeal. And I'm a healthy guy, 82 years old, and I just don't get sick. So uh, let me show you my studio where I'm painting now. This was a bedroom, and now it's my studio. And all this is a mess because I've got so many paintings now done. This is what I was painting for a while, Indian pottery, and those are Kachina dolls. This is a abstract art that I do today. And as you can see on the wall, there's some more. I don't even think when I'm painting. I say, don't think, just do it. You know, I played guitar when I was growing up and I started singing. I was driving out from downtown Dallas and I heard this guy on the radio and I turned it up. God, I couldn't believe it. The sound and the, I just, it was Bob Dylan. <laughs> I ended up going to a bar 
in Dallas that was owned by a friend of mine from grade school. And so he would play bass, I'd play Dylan and sing Dylan. And here I'll sing a part of the Bob Dylan song. If I could remember. <laughs> How many roads must man walk down before you call him a man? How many trees must the white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? Life goes on, I got old. I don't do it anymore. I don't sing anymore, don't play guitar anymore. But it's been quite a life. And I really appreciate music, art. Everybody should be into art and music and do some every day, a little bit. It fills your... You, we used to laugh about everybody that was going out. Now you don't talk so loud. Now you don't sing so loud about having to be scrounging. You an extra meal. Ah, how does it feel? How does it feel?